Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Crazed Spartan Theater. And today's episode, we are going to be discussing Forge. <laughs> hey, guys. Crazed Spartan here yet again for another crazy commentary. And today, I wanted to go over to the old gameplay that I had a long time ago. Uh, this I actually posted before, but uh, Forge is going to get released soon. We're going to find out more about it very, very soon. How soon? I don't know yet. So I kind of wanted to go back through and kind of showcase uh, what we've already seen uh, in Forge and go through it and uh, just kind of look and see what changes are going to be made when they do finally release information on Forge. So let's go ahead and like I said, I take a nice little tour of this forge map. Now this looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, just going through here, you got incredible rocks in here, uh, a nice little beach area. Now this is incomplete and I'll show you why uh, when we do get over to the other side. Now uh, just imagine uh, placing maps in these tree areas and um, just going to have so much opportunity. Now, we don't know the actual size or the footprint of the forge map. Now, as you see, I kind of run into a barrier right there. And take another look at the nice, beautiful skybox and, uh, and the beach area. I could see some incredibly fun race maps being placed here. Um, maybe some... You see, I don't think we're going to get... A, a true invasion but I'm sure somebody will come up with a uh, very similar concept and we'll go from there uh, I think uh, Halo Forge Epidemic Channel made something that was called um, Conquest very similar to invasion and use the extraction game type as you can see as we go over here like I said this is unfinished so I kind of really want to see where we're at when they do actually launch this uh, title and give us information uh, we go over here and you can see see how bad it pixelates in the back uh, skybox there and i'm kind of running into the side right there but this is uh kind of some things that are going to be really cool now if you take a look we do have some fog effects and some really bad blocky background there but obviously like i said it's unfinished and it's going to be fun because uh, using that type of stuff that's already in map and placing it. Because I made a map called Garrison. No, not Garrison. Uh, what was that? What did I call that that silly map? Um, uh, it, I was in Halo 4 and I used, I went down Forge Islands, went all the way down to the water. And it had this really cool little fog effect. And I cannot recall the name of it right now at all. But, um... Yeah, just these little itty bitty things that uh, forgers are going to be able to use. I'm trying to sneak through the cave here. Who, who even knows if that cave's even going to be available yet? But you see, like I said, you have this really cool fog effect. It's not a like an effect that we can put on, but I, I could see forgers using it uh, to some means. Now, like I said, this is reminds me a lot of Forge World. It's nowhere near the size of Forge World, which is fine. Um, I'll be happy with that. Um, we'll be able to do crazy stuff with this. Now, one of the things I really want to see, and they haven't shown us, but I want to see some different palette textures. Uh, in Halo 4, it was all basically UNSC textures. And that's kind of what this, this structure here kind of looks like. It looks like a UNFC theme um, structure, but now I would like to see something similar, but have it be like Forerunner themed or Covenant themed or UNSC themed. You know what I mean? Uh, making our own Covenant maps. Now, that would be amazing because honestly, Halo 4 had zero, zero Covenant themed maps, which was kind of sad. You know, I like the purplish and bluish maps every now and then. Uh, we've had them ever since uh, Halo CE. Halo CE had what? Uh, it had Chill Out and it had um, 
Oh, what was the other map I'm thinking of? Damnation and stuff like that. And it was just really cool to have that different uh, aspect. So let's go ahead and check out this area here. Now, one thing I definitely want to point out to your attention is that we have round pieces now. Now, that may not be a big deal to a lot of people, uh, especially if you're not a forger. You may not care a whole lot. But being a forger, this round piece thing, this is incredible. I love having this uh, variety uh, that I can use and play with. Now, also, uh, check out the, the coloring on it. Uh, it seems like there is a secondary color and a primary color. And depending on what you choose, you can change the way the, if it's the whole thing or it's just uh, partial. And uh, see those round pieces. I believe we go over to the blue base here and you'll see it uh, yet again. Now, the way I was able to capture this was uh, via spectator mode. So uh, it was a little glitchy at the time. So hopefully it's been fixed a little bit more since then. Uh, as you can see right there, uh, we have this red piece that is completely red. So I think there's like, a, like I said, a secondary and a primary color. And you can, if you choose the whole, the, the same thing and uh, you color the whole piece versus just part of it. Now let's go ahead and head down here. I said it's really cool little areas. Now I'm sure we're going to have rocks and stuff like that, but I think this is all in-game rocks are on disc, so you're probably not going to be able to change that a whole lot. Now I also want to draw your attention to something else: is that the pieces look smooth. Now this may not be again another thing that. If you're not a forger, you're not really aware of. But being a forger, uh, especially in Halo CE, or not Halo CE, but Halo 2 uh, Anniversary Forge and Halo 4 Forge, the pieces had these little ridges and, and grooves that really, really were a pain in the butt because you'd want to make the Spartan be able to run and walk. Just, just walk on him uh, and not feel encumbered in any way which uh, and you would have these little bumps and your Spartan would climb up a small bump it wasn't a big thing and you probably wouldn't notice it unless you were actually really paying attention to it and uh, that was a huge huge pain in the butt to smooth stuff out now this looks like everything is smooth which is gonna be great that's really reminiscent of Halo Reach uh, Halo Reach is forge if it had a little bit better interface, like Halo 4's interface, uh, meaning with the duplicating and the locking of pieces and stuff like that, I think Halo Reach's Forge probably would have been the best so far. So hopefully this is going to blow that away, the combination of the two away. And we're going to find out, though. It's, it's going to be soon. Now, I really like these really cool new pieces that we've seen here. It's like an L-shaped piece. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks got some nice texture to it. And we have numbers on these as well. If you take a look, three, two, one. Now I don't know if you can just change that, or that's just something that that comes with the piece itself, or just have nine pieces that have a number on it. I don't know. Um, we'll find out. And uh, I like these really thin, curvy pieces as well. Now this looks like four pieces. Uh, in general are, are two pieces just mixed together make these really cool little looking columns They could be just one piece. Uh, we don't know. I, th I Thought that was just pretty cool. And I, I just like the coloring that we can do like I said That's probably a secondary color and it just adds this long little strip Now take a look at the floor now this looks like one huge uh, Piece now I could be wrong um, But that's what it looks like so uh, that'll be kind of uh, fun to play around with. Now, I like the windows here. Now, I would love to see if these windows could be breakable. Uh, these, these in particular are not breakable, but if they were breakable or had an option to make them breakable, that'd be a nice little fun little uh, addition uh, to uh, making some Forge maps. I said this is just kind of a reiteration, re-looking at Forge uh, from what we had in January so I want to see what we have 
uh, soon when they launch or, or tell us what we got coming on. See, here, here again is some more nice little round pieces. That's just going to add so much variety. And just checking out that little area right there, you could add like um, a small platforming game where you got to jump from piece to piece and stuff like that and to get to the other side. Uh, man, I just can't wait. Then we have file share, an actual real file share that works. Uh, we're going to be able to share all sorts of crazy stuff and, and get back on there and um, make Halo great again. I don't care uh, what you're saying. And, and custom games custom games are all going to be dedicated servers on top of uh, the regular games and the co-op campaign. Oh, man, I cannot wait to play this game. And just seeing Forge, I can't wait to Forge. Like I said, my first day uh, on the 27th since I worked that night. I'm probably going to be messing around Forge with a little bit because I, I want to sit and enjoy the campaign as a, as a, a single experience. So that's my goal there. That's what I'm thinking of. Then when I get off work, then it's on <laughs> after my nap because I'm going to get off at 6 a.m. And I'm probably going to be like, oh, I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. But I'm going to be playing the heck out of that game for the next couple days afterwards. Now, like I said, this is some really cool pieces and I cannot wait to dive into this. Uh, it's going to be really fun to play. And, and, and the pieces, like I said, look smooth. And it's such a big deal. And making this like a covenant theme where it's, everything's purple and they just like set up a base somewhere. Or forerunner theme and it's just like uh, some forerunner structure. That's going to be pretty dang cool. And we have day and nighttime settings. So all those infection players out there are going to finally get some nighttime games if they want to do that. But I think this video is just about ready to wrap up. So this is what we have coming for Forge. And I can't wait to see the actual full release. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, stand by for some more Forge action because that's coming very soon. In less than 40 days, guys. Less than 40 days. This is the Cray Spartan. I'm out of here.